The sun goes through a, a cycle of activity. So sometimes it's very quiet, calm, and then sometimes it's much more active with flares and these things called coronal mass ejections. The thing that we really notice, you know, here on Earth in particular is when the sun gets into that more active phase, we can start noticing more interaction between the Earth and the sun in things like the aurora. What we are currently experiencing from the sun indicates that the sun has reached the maximum phase of the solar cycle. Even though we're currently in the, mac the maximum phase, we will not be able to determine the peak of this solar cycle for several months. You know, normally you got to be in Alaska, right? You got to be really up toward the Arctic Circle to see that aurora. The fact that you get these big activities on the sun that do produce a lot of output that can produce aurora down uh, very, very southern. It's amazing. We anticipate additional solar and geomagnetic storms leading to opportunities to spot aurora over the next several months, as well as potential technology impacts. It's good to keep track of these things, obviously to predict any potential for, you know, damage to the power grid, but also like we want to understand why is this cycle 11 years? Why do some cycles have more activity and some cycles have low activity? There's a lot of things about the sun that we don't know. And it's our star. It's what gives us life. So it'd be really important for us to have a better understanding of what makes the sun do what it does.